We call this game our little pair pairs because they're little pairs that we have to pair together. So it's a good homonym there that you can teach your child. Anyway, so this is for our food theme for this week. And I made little pears. I just um, drew a picture of a pear. And then I put a slit in the middle. And then I cut them out, so of course I cut out the slit. And what he has to do is, well first of all we mix them all up and then we put all our little leaves. We call these our leaves because they have the little leaf on the top and this is the core. There's a little core on the top to distinguish the two. We divide them up first and then we have to find our pairs and match them together. So this is practice counting by twos. So you can use this little pair game practicing by twos because you need two to make a pair. Anyway, so you pick one from here, the little leaf, and then you have to see what comes next, counting by twos. Six, eight. So you find your eight, and there's your little pair. Instead of doing from two all the way to whatever you want, I thought we could, we did it this way, so it's extra practice, and then he knows his counting by twos very well, starting from number two. But it's a little bit more difficult, for example, starting from 28. What comes after 28? So he has to look for the right one. 28 comes 30. An easy way for him to do it if he gets stuck. I say, oh, just skip. Skip one. If you count by twos, you just skip one. 28, 29, 30. So he, skip, he whispers the one he has to skip, and then he knows the next one. Anyway, so this was a fun little practicing counting by twos with our little pear shapes and making them into pairs. You can also talk about two halves make a whole. A pair is two. Then we talked about all the different pairs that we found on our bodies. A pair of eyes, a pair of hands, a pair of feet, or with animals, or a pair of people. You can say a couple. Different ways to say two. Anyway, so there's a fun little math game you can do on your food theme.